MLB Network's coverage of Major League Baseball is on the air. Coming up, we've got a good matchup in store between the Chicago White Sox and the Kansas City Royals. It's going to be fun marveling at two of the best in the game, and it's next on MLB Network. Danny Duffy will be the starter for the Royals in this one. Dan Plezak, what's the word on him? Well, this guy's kind of unique. How about a five-pitch repertoire that he has? That gives him a lot of options for both righties and lefties. And if he's on, he could be really tough to hit. Digging in now, Tim Anderson. He will lead this one off today. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. One, one. Oh. Maybe a threat of a thunderstorm or two later on. Game time temperature here and even 90 degrees. Now the 2-1. Hit the other way out toward right field. Merrifield is there and he makes the catch for the out. Batting second. The third baseman, Yoan Moncada. So here's Yoan Moncada. Career numbers against Danny Duffy. He's got three base hits in 17 at bats. He's also been a strikeout victim six times. The 1 1 home. Line drive snagged on a short hop. Throw gets him two down. Oh man, you can't hit a ball any harder than that. I mean, this ball gets on him in a heartbeat. Nice job to stay with it, though, and then make the out at first. So bases are empty here with two gone. And up next, the switch hitting catcher, Yasmani Grandal. The 1-1. One, one. Misses for the second ball. As a veteran out on the mound, that's a pitch that you expect to get a call on. Got to believe he keeps pounding that spot until he builds a rapport with the umpire. Now the 2 1 pitch is swung on and missed for strike number two. And this pitcher's feeling the flow right now. Two outs in the first inning. He's got really nice mechanics working right now and blew that fastball right by him. And there are the umpires assigned to this one. Balls and strikes belong to Mr. Jerry Hillsdale. You know, D-Roll, I think Jerry Hillsdale is a very good hitter's umpire. Doesn't give much on the edges. He's going to make you put the ball over the plate. Oh, I love me some Jerry Hillsdale. You have to come over those 17 inches. He ain't giving you anything on the outside corner, and that's the way it should be. Now the three and two pitch. And we'll have the first base runner of the ball game here as that misses and it's a two out walk. And I'm sure the manager is just fine with that. I mean, it's better to battle a slugger like that to the end and end up walking him than serving one up where he can really hurt you. So a runner at first with two away. And one of the more prolific RBI men in the league the last few years, Jose Abreu, will bat next. The 1-1. One, one. Oh. Grandal leads off first with a pair of outs in the inning. Back up the middle. And that finds its way through for a base hit. There's a hard hit ground ball. Pitcher not able to get a glove on it. Hard single up the middle. You yeah, watch your lips right there. Dan sent it back right where it came from. Into the box, Eloy Jimenez. Good plate discipline to lay off the slider that time, and he draws even a two and two. Hey, it's much easier to lay off the breaking stuff when it's coming in towards you instead of when it breaks away. A good take there. Popped him up. 
Mondesi is there for it. And that retires the side. White Sox strand a couple. It's the White Sox nothing. Royals coming to bat. You're watching MLB Network. Lucas Giolito gets the ball for the White Sox in this one. What's your take on him, Dan? Hey, this guy has a four-pitch repertoire, right? And those are a lot of nice options to have. You can go hard soft. You can go in and out. And anytime you have four pitches, if you could throw them for strikes, you have the big advantage. With Merrifield next to bat, he'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Merrifield behind a ball and two strikes. One and two. The one two. Chopped on the ground over to first. Scooped up. And there's one down now. Batting second. Not shortstop. Number 27. Into the box now, Adalberto Mondesi. As the switch hitter will take his cuts left-handed here. Yeah, he's not quite as powerful on the left side. He's certainly not Chipper Jones, who had pop from both sides of the plate. Much more pop hitting right-handed. Nope, Three and one. Due up next is Salvador Perez. One out, nobody on. And there's a called strike at the knees as he was hoping for a base on balls there, but it's a full count now, three and two. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Robert is back, and he'll get there to make the play for route number two. Batting third, the catcher, Salvador Perez. Striding into the box, Salvador Perez looking to get on base and keep this first inning alive. Bases are empty here with two men out. And he lays off a pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. To third, Moncada fields it cleanly. Throw over to Abreu is in time, and with it, the side is retired. Royals go down one, two, three, and this is still a nothing, nothing ball game. All set for the start of the inning, and digging in is the veteran DH, Edwin Encarnacion. One and two, here it comes. <laughs> and a changeup swung on and missed for the first out. That swing tells me he was really trying to get a pitch out front and rip it down the line, but that wasn't a great pitch to do it on. It's really not the best two strike approach either. Into the box now, Luis Robert, nope. and he misses here for oh, ball four. Already two walks surrendered in his first couple of innings of work. Well, this right guy's here. been prone to giving up the walks right and field, bunches, and that's 30. already two walks Go here on. in the early going. Madonna. We'll see if this continues to be an issue for him as this start continues. So a runner at first with one out now, and that brings up the versatile Nomar Mazzara. Set to deal on a ball and two strikes. Nope, outside. Man, this at bat has changed quickly from 0-2 now to 2-2. Two two. A good job of plate discipline by this hitter, not chasing those pitches just off the plate. No score here as we play inning number two. Let's go. 
goes. Runner goes. He swings and misses. Throw down. Not in time. He's in there at second. Well, when a stolen base is that close, it's interesting to check it out on show track. And as the numbers come in, you'll want to focus on the top speed. Really good, and it paid off there. So digging in now, Nick Madrigal, runner in scoring position with Sugan. Here's the one-two. In the dirt here, but it won't skip away far enough for the runner to advance. Two and two, here it is. The slider freezes him at the plate, a called third strike, and the inning comes to a close. White Sox leave one, will go to the bottom of the second, no score. Ready to go for the last half of the inning, and that'll bring up Jorge Soler to hit next. Here now the 2 2. Fouled off. Three and two to the Royals' designated hitter. Well, that sets up a big pitch right here, Matt, because you don't want to lose the leadoff guy in a scoreless game. It's tough to work around a leadoff walk. And he fouls this one off. Not surprised he's laid on a heater right there. Just saw an off-speed pitch. Wanted to stay back a little bit too long. A payoff pitch one more time. Is a wave and a miss. He struck him out. Leading off the inning, your job is to get on base and set the table for the inning. That was a pretty good at bat. And then he pushed the count to three and two and made the pitcher work. But I think he'd like to have that three-two pitch back. Pretty sure that was ball four he went after. So now to the plate, Michael Franco. Easy there, big fella. Two and two. Bottom of the second here with no score. A full count, three balls and two strikes. Drives it out to deep right center field. Center fielder giving chase. He makes the running play. Two down. Batting fit. The first baseman, Hunter Dozier. So bases are empty here with two gone, and that'll bring up Hunter Dozier. From the windup, the 1 1. Fouled away. Two out, nobody on. And the slider's in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. Bottom dropped out on him, and that's a strikeout. And the throw to first ends the inning. KC down in order. We'll move to the third with no score. Next to bat will be Tim Anderson. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Counts a ball and two strikes to the White Sox shortstop. The one two is a swing and a miss. That's strike three. Oh, I love watching a pitcher that can run a good hard fastball in on a guy's hands and completely lock him up. That's such a tough pitch to do anything with. 
if you can locate your fastball there consistently, you're going to have a lot of success as a pitcher. Stepping in now, Yohan Moncada. Curveball, and he thought it was strike two. Instead, it goes to three and one. Well, it's a pretty well-known fact that your batting average goes up as you get into more favorable hitters counts, and that's especially true when we're talking about this kind of hitter. Not a great spot to be in if you're the pitcher. Rolled slowly down the third baseline, and an off-balance throw is in time as he takes one away. Wow! Up next for the White Sox, the catcher, Yasmani Grandal. Digging in, Yasmani Grandal. Third inning, no score to this point. Ball. And now a fastball, but he's able to hold off on it, and it's two and one now. Hit the other way out toward right field. Merrifield will get there and he puts it away to retire the side. One, two, three, go the White Sox. Home half of the third coming up. No score. Bottom of the third now, and that'll bring up the veteran left handed hitting outfielder, Alex Gordon. fouled away this pitch is popped up Grandal waits on it and that's the first out of the inning batting eight, the center fielder number 14 At the plate, Edward Olivares. He'll get to take his first cuts here. Yeah. Two and two. Very rarely does a pitcher like this leave one in a location like that. That's a pitch right there he'd like to have back. He'd love to swing at that one again. The 2 2. Popped up. And there's out number two. And this is not an easy play when you have to range to your right. He really didn't have a chance to get his feet set, so this is all arm. Nicely done. Now with the plate, Nicky Lopez. Bottom of inning number three, nothing, nothing, our score. Down the first baseline, taken in by Abreu, and he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. Royals go down one, two, three. We'll head to the fourth, still scoreless. Back with Mark DeRosa and Dan Plezak, Matt Vaskersian, as Jose Abreu is ready to start out the inning. The 1 1. At the ball. Well, if you love pitching and defense, this has been a game for you. Are you happy with that, Dan? Oh, you have to love it. You know, Matt, we have so many of these games that are 12 to 10 and 9 to 8. It's nice to see a low-scoring pitcher's duel for once. The 2-1 home. This guy's been throwing the ball great so far, but he's going to be tested here. 4, 5, and 6 coming up this part of the lineup. Fouled off.
Ready with another 2-2. Two -two. To be honest with you, I'm a little bit more afraid of the guy on deck than the guy that's up right now. If I'm on the mound, I want this guy up right now. He's the guy that's got to beat me. Here it comes. Oh, and look at this. High in the air and deep. And when this ball comes down, they'll have taken the lead home run. A solo shot here to left. As they get on the board first, it's one to nothing. And there's an old adage in baseball that solo home runs won't kill you. This is one of the top hitters in that lineup. So a home run, a solo home run right here, it's not the end of the world. Standing in now, Elo Jimenez. Now a swing and a ball chop foul right at home plate. And he fouls this one off. The one two. Hit sharply on the ground. And a backhanded try into the hole that's short, but this gets on by. Hey, not a bad pitch right there. Off speed pitch down in the zone. Now back. You thought he would set that up pretty well. The previous pitch was a real good fastball up. Yeah, I think the hitter was sitting all over that one, Dan. I really do. He saw that fastball up for show. I think he thought to himself, here comes the off speed. At the plate, Edwin Encarnacion heading out towards shallow right. Right fielder coming on. He makes the catch. A great effort to get there and record the first out of the inning. Now batting, the center fielder, Luis Roberts. So striding in, Luis Robert, one in, one out, and one on here in the inning. And a big swing and a miss here, two strikes. Hey, you know the pitcher right now, he's looking for that best friend, that double play ball. This is where you have to really be disciplined at the plate and make sure that you get a pitch that's above the knees that you can get in the air. Lifted in the air to center field. Oliveras is there to put it away, and the runner will be forced to retreat back to first. The right fielder, number 30, Nomar Mazzara. In now the power hitting outfielder, Nomar Mazzara. Looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. Yeah, and kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one. And we'll see if he tries to cheat to something this AB. And, and he lays off a pitch down and away. Ball two. A bouncer to the left side. Throw in time, and the side is retired. But the White Sox hit the board first on the solo home run. Last chance coming up for the Royals. It's now 1-0 Chicago. Whit Merrifield next to hit. Now the 3-2 and two pitch. And that misses for ball four. It's a leadoff walk that starts the bottom of the fourth. They haven't been able to register a hit against no, this no. guy, but at least they have a base seven. runner here. We'll see if that leads to something. Striding in once again, Adalberto Mondesi. He'll be looking for something he could drive into the gap and drive home that time run from first. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. third 
but he's in safely as a run comes across to score on the play, tying the ball game. This is an easy decision for him to try for third because he has the play right in front of him, so he doesn't have to rely on any of his base coaches. Good decision to keep chugging, and he makes it all the way around safely. Into the box, Salvador Perez. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Now a swing, and the barrel of the bat breaks in two that time. And the Royals are going to win this one in walk-off style. Well, the way things unfolded, you kind of had a sense that this thing was going to end in dramatic fashion, and that's exactly what happened. A walk-off for the win? Wow. Pitching and defense game, 2-1, to one, the final score this afternoon. The Kansas City Royals took the lead in the fourth and held on until the end. Danny Duffy earns the victory on the mound. Lucas Giolito worked only three innings in the losing effort. So that's a wrap for us in this one. Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, Matt Vaskersian, we all thank you for watching Major League Baseball on MLB Network. See you next time. First for the victorious Kansas City Royals. Two runs on just one base hit, no errors, and they left no runners on base. For the White Sox, one run on three hits, no errors, they left four men on base. Time of the ball game, two hours and 34 minutes. Thank you for joining us here this afternoon. And we remind you to please drive home safely.